All right, today what we want to show you is the difference between airbrushes and what they can and cannot do. Uh, this is our new cordless airbrush. It's an internal mix airbrush. It does very fine work, uh, nice tight areas. This is a cheap airbrush, uh, similar to a Badger. It's an external mix. <clears throat> what that means is that the paint gets sucked up through this little tip and gets blown out over a larger area. So when you use this gun, it's gonna look something like this. And you're gonna get that type of a paint out of it. Now, when you go to a internal mix, which is a much better airbrush, you're not gonna get quite the same splatter effect of paint. It's more precise. It's gonna look something more like this. More controlled. It's not just blasting paint everywhere. So the benefit is that the internal mix is for doing small blends, light areas, like for instance, like this headrest, okay, a, uh, a steering wheel, a bolster on a seat. If you want to paint a large area or you want to blast the paint over a large area, then you're probably going to need something more like this. The problem with this is you have cords, either canned air or a compressor. It's not as portable as this. So you're gonna get more of a, a wider spray pattern. Okay, you can cover a larger area. That's the main difference of the two types of airbrushes that we have. 